Hi, Lloyd Reaper here to demonstrate a second version of an early prototype of a reference letter writing app I've built. To learn more about this app and how it was programmed, please visit my blog, learninglivecode.blogspot.com. I've renamed the app. I now call it a report and letter writing app because I now think the app can be used for all sorts of writing tasks that go well beyond writing a first draft of a reference letter. Now, if you watched the video of me demonstrating the first version of this app, you know that I ended by saying that I came to the conclusion that I took the wrong design approach to building it. I'm happy to report that this second version solves all of the problems and shortcomings of that first effort. Okay, let me show you how this new and improved version of the prototype for this app works. Okay, let's begin. And you'll see we come to a page where I need to build the letter template. So you can see this is step one. And what I have here is really just a blank page. So in this blank page, I'm going to start writing a letter. And I'll again use the example of writing a reference letter for a student who wants to apply for graduate study. So I'll go into the application here and start typing. So the name of the person who is going to be receiving the letter is going to be Dr. Ivana Hiru. And it would go something like this. Dear Dr. Hiru, the purpose of this letter is to support the application of George Bailey. And now I'm going to go ahead and very quickly type the rest of the letter. And there we have it. Yes, I can type quickly when I need to. So it's, it's very much your standard letter, but the point here is that you can see I have a just a blank text field in which to type a letter. Now what I'm going to do is uh, replace some of these key phrases and and also other key parts with some well replaceable text so for example let me go and uh, take a look here George was well there's a lot of things I could type here turns out George was an outstanding student but what I'm really trying to do is build a letter template so instead of an outstanding what I'd like to do is put a um, put some replaceable text at that particular uh, location. So I need to build a category for this. So I'm going to come down here and click on new category and give this category a name rating. And now I can go into that category and begin to put in some uh, choices for that particular rating. And here are some examples. And I could have l as many choices as I wanted, but those those are some good choices. So instead of the word outstanding, I'm going to get rid of it and instead just double click on this new category. And you'll notice how it puts that category name inside the letter with these braces going around it to indicate that that is going to be a place where some replaceable text can be used. Now let's go through and uh, add a few more spots where I would like to use replaceable text. Another one might be this one right here. So instead of enthusiastic, I might have happy, willing, maybe able to support him. So great, let me go and make a new category. And I'll give this a category uh, name of emotion. And again, I'll click on the category and then edit it. And let me go ahead and paste in some choices there. All right, very good. And I think I'll do this uh, one more time. I th again, there may be lots of places where I might put it, but I think down here where it says, I believe he is an outstanding can uh, candidate, well, there could be a lot of different choices there as well. So let me add a new category right there. And I'll call that my conclusion category. And let me go ahead and edit that. And here are some choices there for that. Great. So you can see now I need to come in here and add th that replaceable text. So instead of enthusiastic, I'm going to get rid of that and type in emotion or double click on the emotion category. And down here where it says uh, he is an outstanding 
candidate. I'm going to get rid of that and put in the conclusion category. Now, as you look here also, there's lots of other spots where really it should be replaceable text. Maybe I'll be writing a letter for some other uh, person who, go, who will be applying to some other graduate school. So I'm going to come up here and, and start to replace some of this information with some preset categories. So the addressee, well, has a title and the name again, I'm going to just put in the last name. And you can see as I come through here now, I see that George Bailey, well, it could be a lot of different students, so I'll get rid of George and come down here to the candidate information and put in the first name there. Go to Bailey, put in the last name there. And there's also a lot of other spots, for example, he. Well, what if it is a female instead of a male? Well, I've taken that into consideration and I have here she, uh, she or he upper so I'm going to get rid of he and put in this replaceable text category and I'll just now go through it very quickly and make these other changes okay so I think I have them all I may have missed one or two but I think I have it so great now I'm going to go and enter some basic information so that was just a letter template now I'm going to be actually putting in the information for this particular letter which is George Bailey who is male and I'll give him a rating of excellent I don't really use this rating category yet but I have I have ideas for it and the addressee is going to be Dr. Ivana hire you and let me go ahead and paste in the address alright there we go yes the College of Knowledge at at Harvard University. Now we need to write the letter for this particular student. So there again is the template and now I have to make choices. So for rating he was an outstanding student. What's my emotion? I am enthusiastic. And my conclusion is he is an outstanding candidate. So I could have chosen of course any one of those uh, bits of replaceable text. Now let me go ahead and generate the letter and you kind of saw that there it went through and replaced all of that with the, the appropriate bits of information so again even the little things like the he versus she as you can see him versus he George was an exemplary student finally I believe he's an outstanding candidate for graduate study so great now I can go ahead and copy that text to the clipboard and paste it in to Microsoft Word or whatever my word processing application is. Now let's assume we have a lot of letters to write and uh, many are going to be going also to Harvard. What if we wanted to write another letter for another student using the same template? So I'm going to go up here to the little breadcrumb trail and go back to enter basic information and this time I'm just going to change the name of the student to Mary Hatch and this is going to be Ms. and Mary is female. Now she is also excellent but uh, again I don't really use that. Let me go now and write the letter to go to the next step and I again have to simply make my choices so very quickly well she was excellent my emotion is I am very happy to support her and uh, is a good very good candidate. There we go let me go ahead and say I'm enthusiastic there as well. Now I will generate the letter draft very quickly and you'll see as I go through here we will have uh, made all of those uh, corrections or, or replacements uh, as are appropriate. So there's Mary Hatch, she was a student of mine and so forth. So I could very quickly now copy that text to the clipboard and paste that also into another Microsoft Word file. So I hope you can see this is a much new and improved version, much more flexible type of tool for letter writing, but I can see other applications for this as well. So yeah, that's it for now. Be sure to check my blog, learninglivecode.blogspot.com, later for updates to this and other live code projects.